Hi, yes, we've got another crusty burger Duracell. Um, this one, 9 volts. You don't see the uh, the old 9 volts uh, leak that often, but yeah, I've done a video or two on the uh, Duracells leak in it. Well, there it is. This one comes from the bunker, oh, made in China. Uh, this one comes from the bunker out of a meter, and uh, yeah, it, like it hasn't leaked a huge amount, and well, it could certainly uh, be worse, but uh, yeah, we've got some old potassium hydroxide that's come out here. But interestingly, and check out this, this is not some, you know, whiz-bang marketing uh, wank. This is actually where it's uh, leaked onto, like, under the film, under the, uh, the protective film. Well, it's not protective, it's part of the, um, yeah, it's just part of the wrap like that. And there's, I don't know if we can get a, date code or something from that but uh yeah is that 2011 is it it's uh, no i don't know anyway um no expires march uh 2019 so yeah technically it's expired but okay anyway yeah hasn't done too badly so i thought we'd crack her open and have a squiz And of course, I've done uh, videos on battery leakage and stuff like that, so I won't go over all the uh, details again. But yeah, alkaline batteries, they're famous for it, of course. No, I won't bother using gloves. Eh, what the heck? It's what my skin's for, isn't it? So yeah, it's on the ne negative terminal there. There you go, you can really, really start to see that on the negative terminal. Wow, look at that. That's really something. You usually have a split down the middle there how do we get oh this is oh this is a cap one okay the ones i've taken apart before yes i know um it, yeah i don't <laughs> don't ask what happened there anyway they're good for oh yeah okay cap like that oh there we go our terminal just came off oh wow yeah this is um this is a plastic case the ones i've all the ones i've seen are metal so that's that's interesting. A lot of people say, oh, it's a fake. It's a fake. Very unlikely, because I don't... I usually buy them from uh, genuine sources. This would have... I think this is one of... I think this is the one I've bought. Whoa. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got it. And um, you can't even get, like, a decent battery snap out of these. Like, usually, in the metal ones, um, you'll get, like, a 9-volt battery snap out of it. It's like a separate... Uh, thing and you can just, just use it, reuse it on dead batteries. You can salvage uh, little 9 volt battery snaps and handy and just solder onto the back of them. Anyway, this is, uh, if you don't know, I've done teardowns of 9 volt batteries before, both alkaline and uh, the carbon ones as well. And the alkalines, like this one, they have six 4A batteries in them, and there you go. So, yeah, that's just a plastic. Out of shell, I thought they were all metal. At least the Energizer ones are. I thought the Duracell ones were too. I don't have any others here. But, uh, so, oh yeah. That's Krusty Burger. Check that out. Yeah. Wow. That's really something. So, yes, these are uh, 4A cells, which is smart. You can buy them individually. Um, I believe they're like exactly 4A uh, measurements. They, they, they're used in like, I think the only thing I've got that's used, that uses a 4A cell like this is for my uh, Wacom uh, tablet or my, or is it Microsoft Surface tablet or whatever. Yeah, they've got a uh, 4A battery in it. 0805U2, whatever that is. I don't know, but uh, yeah, um, there you go. That's it. It's not very exciting, is it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's just, I just wanted to show you another dead Duracell battery leakies. Just beware, like, don't leave batteries in, like, old gear and stuff like that. Um, because, especially our clients, because they will eventually leak. So, that's terrible, Muriel. So, not all of them have leaked. I mean, these, these three here are certainly different looking and different color to these three over here. So, these look like the good ones. And this here looks like, yeah, it's had, it's leaked. And once again, these are all um, individually film uh, covered as well. So it looks like it's leaked under there like that. So possibly, you know, one started to leak and then the others. Oh, yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah, the wrap's coming off that. There you go. 
But yeah, it looks like these three over here weren't really touched. It's all on the one side. And... Oh, yeah. There we go. So they do have a protective film on them. And the reason that you've got to have the protective film on them is because the outer case it will be connected to the positive up here. So, yeah, you can't just, like, whack them all together. Otherwise, you'd be shorting out all the positive terminals. You can't put them in series. So they need to have that wrap in there. You'll notice that uh, some of these still have some charge in them. 1.3. 1.3. One point three. I forgot to actually measure the <laughs> the battery. Ah, see that one's that one's still one point three. That's interesting. This one here, yeah, this one here has gone negative. <laughs> okay, negative half a volt. So that's been reverse charged. This one here, point two three. So so yeah, that's the problem with uh, putting batteries in series. Is that if one uh, drains first, it can actually reverse. Then well, it gets reverse charged, and uh, yeah, it can. Yeah, ruin your day. So the electrochemistry of the cell just goes haywire. That's the positive terminal of one of them there, and that is uh, that is directly connected. That's the actual case, you know, that's welded onto the case. Whereas the negative terminal here, that's the isolated one with the O-ring around there, and uh, that's where all the goodness leaks out. They're going to have uh, pressure vents. They're actually designed to leak. They're actually, in the event of overpressure, de the vent is designed to open. And yeah, these things, they will leak. That's their job. They're designed to protect themselves, not your equipment. Hmm, that has a lovely smell to it, actually. <laughs> Rather enjoying that. Here's the other end of them. So yeah, that's interesting how, like, three on one side have leaked and three haven't. There you go, 50% failure rate on those cells. Um, even though, like that one, for example, is leaked because it's all under, it's all under there. It's not like it, uh, you know, it came from the others and then worked its way, you know, up. That bad boy has leaked of its own accord there, and <laughs> it still has 1.3 volts. <laughs> this will be negative, but yeah. <laughs> but there's not much energy in there. Open circuit voltage is not an indication of energy capacity as I've done videos on but there you go that's it um that's a little look inside a failed Duracell Ultra of course it failed it's a Duracell <laughs> and you can see yeah is that like eating away all the silver uh I don't know what that silver backing is it's not probably not silver but it's you know something else it's just eating that eating that away that's why it appeared like dark a totally different color it's just <laughs> It's just attacked all that and eaten it all away. If no one, anyone knows the exact, exact uh, chemistry going on there, please leave it in the comments. But there you go. Yep. It's another fail. Wah, 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 wah. Catch you next time.